What's up, dirt people? Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. We got a simple video for you guys. Didn't take much work, but if you're like me, it might help you guys. Um, that's our RV. We, this is King of the Hammers. This is this weekend that just passed. Um, we didn't know what to do. We have a bunch of friends that have always been here, and once you mix all their stories together, you don't know what to do. Look at all the people. This is early. Um, so yeah, you, we didn't know where to park. You get buried, you hear horror stories. This is the main highway in and out. Um, we've heard of people staying in that line for four hours, whatever, just to get in. It's a nightmare sometimes. So we park there just to get a good look at all the trucks. We didn't bring any vehicles. We wanted to go off-roading, but we just picked a campsite. Um, we were looking at the creep visited us, Boris visited us, John, Sam came. Um, David with his Gen 3 Raptor. So we were just chilling and hanging out. And they would go and have fun with the off-road stuff and then come back. They would do some of the spectator stuff. I'm not gonna lie, we did miss out on a little bit of the spectator stuff by not off-roading, but it was also hard to do. There was a lot of people, it takes a while to get there. Uh, but it was fun. Check out the blast Sam's kid was having. So yeah, we didn't get to see that action ourselves, but luckily Sam and Creep posted some of their adventures on Telegram. So check out the link below and join us on there. So the only races we've been to really is Mint um, twice. The spectator areas here are different. You saw the people on the rocks. You get to see the competitors, see other people's trucks, meet up with your friends, see the race team's trucks. That's all free. Or you could pay to get into Hammer Town. So a lot of people are confused. It's 50 bucks to get in. We did that and we didn't even go. Um, we bought a camping pass also. That's the only thing we needed. But it's also open desert. You couldn't wiggle around. But yeah, look, the night gets like this. It, it's just crazy. There's so much to do. No matter what you do, you're gonna miss out. And meeting with your friends is the funnest part. And just checking out the vehicles. So that's all we did. Um, I would recommend if you're super into off-roading, actually not come in here if you're into the trails. Uh, there's too much traffic and you won't have fun. You won't enjoy the trails. If you just want to see trucks passing by and everything, that's awesome. If you like camping, you'll love it here. And if you just love socializing, you'll love it here. Uh, we didn't want to take anything back to my wife's employees at work. We got to keep it open. So we kept the mingling low, um, but everyone was safe. It's outdoors. It's awesome. Also, if you're camping, uh, you're gonna have to weigh out something. Like I said, we stayed on the side of the road so we could see friends passing by and so we could just safely see trucks and traffic and not have to mingle so much. But we wouldn't have gotten any sleep because uh, that highway is busy till one in the morning where we're parked at right there. So you gotta go further in if you wanna get some sleep. But then when you get out, that's when the nightmare happens because it's hours to get out. Right here, we were on the highway like in 10 minutes from here. so. Uh, pros and cons whatever pick your poison i'm telling you guys this and i'm rushing this video so in case any of you guys want to go um it's still going on this week and the upcoming weekend we're not going to be able to go but like i said i've always been curious and i was able to we were able to come out here because we brought the motor home so because of the unpredictable stories we always heard <clears throat> i never wanted to a leave my wife at home and come here and get stuck and come home super late or b bring my wife out here and have her stuck with her so I don't know. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like bringing home an ugly, an ugly, an angry wife, or coming home to an angry wife. So as I said, you could just that's why I'm putting this out there for you guys. So you guys don't have to sacrifice a whole weekend. You can, could just come, chill, find a different way in than the entrance, enjoy some of the stuff. Depends what you're what you're into, and then leave, or fully commit and spend the whole weekend here and do everything proper. Either way, you'll have a blast, and both ways you're missing out. So, whatever. Also, I've noticed a lot of people turn this into like a guy's weekend or a guy's trip, whatever, um, including my friends. But this year, everyone brought their family. Uh, and I've always not liked kids. <laughs> That's why I don't have any. But I got to admit, the funnest time we spent here was at the campsite with all the kids. Just seeing all the kids happy, all the families happy post COVID. That's, that's a rare sight and it felt good. Um, so don't come out here just to escape also consider bringing your family you'll have a blast they'll have a blast but do it right uh don't piss everyone off don't 
keep everyone away from bathrooms, don't get stranded somewhere, don't get lost. Just let them have fun. You're going to have fun too. And as I said, the next race coming up is Mint 400. We're going to try to go. I got to find a trailer to haul either the Raptor or the ZR2 in that RV. I really like this. Um, I, the hotels for the races are pain. Uh, you got to be driving back and forth all through Vegas. And we like to have a drink every now and then. Not sloppy, but there's a lot of cops. And there's a lot of people. Uh, so you don't want to be doing that. I don't know. The motorhome makes it a lot easier for all that, just to enjoy it. So, like I said, we're trying to find a trailer and hopefully we can go. But... Next year for this, we'll get a little more immersed, we'll be a little more brave, and we'll bring you better footage. This is just a feeler. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like. Please Dang, I suck today. Please share and like always, keep finding new trails, keep going new places, meeting with cool people, and of course, keep it dirty.